Searchanize is built for e-commerce brands that are serious about making it easier for shoppers to find what they want and actually buy it. It takes the basic idea of site search and turns it into something that actively drives conversions instead of just returning a list of products. Instead of relying on a simple keyword match, it uses machine learning and behavior data to understand what each shopper is most likely to want. A big part of the experience is how it handles suggestions. When customers start typing, they immediately get guided with smart predictions so they don't have to guess the perfect phrasing. You can even build out a suggestions dictionary to make sure common queries and edge cases both lead somewhere useful. That matters because customers don't always speak your catalog language. One person might type sneakers, someone else might type trainers, and someone else might type a brand name and a color. With traditional basic search, those are three different experiences. With this kind of intelligent search, they all get routed toward the right products. Even if they make a small typo, they'll still see real results instead of a dead end. Searchanize also supports voice search, which is especially helpful for mobile traffic. Mobile shoppers usually have less patience for tapping and scrolling. Once shoppers are in the results, what happens next is just as important. Most stores hit a wall with filtering. Shopify's default setup gives you some filters, but it's limited, especially if you manage a large catalog. Searchanize is made to solve that problem at a professional level. You're not stuck with a small cap on the number of filters, or a limit on how many values each filter can include, or a situation where filtering breaks down when there are too many results. Instead, you can build out unlimited filters that hold thousands and thousands of values, and those filters continue to work even if your results go past the typical limit. You can get very specific about how you want shoppers to narrow down results. You can show filters by product attributes, but you can also build filters based on custom data in your Shopify meta fields. You can create slider filters for things like price ranges, dimensions, weight, ratings, or any numeric value. You can even build location-based filters when you're dealing with multiple inventory locations, so a shopper can narrow results to what's available for local pickup or what's in stock in a specific region. You can apply different sets of filters to different collections using filter trees, which lets you tailor the experience to the category. Merchandising is another place where most default search tools fall short. The native Shopify approach lets you boost individual products for specific keywords, and that's helpful at a basic level, but it's not really built for more serious campaigns. Searchanize gives you merchandising tools that feel more like running a promotion engine than just nudging one SKU. You can boost whole product groups instead of one product at a time. You can push seasonal collections, new drops, limited runs, or clearance items, and make sure they float to the top when people search related terms. You can also layer multiple ranking rules at once, which means you're not forced to pick a single rule and hope it fits every situation. You get control over which products deserve priority and why. On top of that, you can add visual treatments like banners and labels right into the search results, so shoppers immediately see things like new, sale, or limited stock without having to click around. The product discovery piece doesn't end at search results. You can also use it to surface related products and complementary products. This is where upsell and cross-sell come in. When someone is viewing a product, you can recommend alternative options that are similar to what they're already considering, so they can compare features, styles, colors, or price points. You can also recommend complementary items right under the Add to Cart button to encourage natural bundling. The analytics behind all of this are meant to feel less like vanity stats and more like decision support. You can see which queries bring in buyers and which queries don't lead anywhere. You can track zero result searches so you know exactly where your catalog, tagging, or synonyms are failing the customer. You can look at which filters people use the most and which filter combinations they apply together when they're actively narrowing down products. Pricing for Searchanize is structured in a way that's meant to be accessible to smaller stores while still scaling up for larger catalogs. You can get in at a relatively low monthly cost, and that already unlocks most of what we've been talking about, including advanced search and filtering for up to a certain product count. From there, higher plans increase product limits and layer in more advanced merchandising and display options. One example of an advanced feature on the higher tiers is separate variant display. With that, different product variations like color or style can appear as individual results in search instead of hiding inside a parent product. That helps shoppers land directly on the exact version they want instead of clicking into a generic listing and then digging through a dropdown. All paid plans include a free trial window so you can actually test the experience live on your store before you commit. Beyond features and pricing, the biggest argument for using Searchanize is proof. The app is already running in thousands of e-commerce stores across the world and is trusted by well-known brands in different verticals. It has a large volume of five-star reviews in the Shopify App Store and ranks among the top search apps there, which shows that this isn't some experimental add-on. It's a mature product with a track record in real revenue environments. 